What's up everybody? I'm going to show you real quick how you can program these micro alarm car alarm transmitters. Uh, this here is a bug from an older older model for sure, a 6007. This is pretty old school. Um, I think this company is still in business, I'm not really sure, but there's plenty of these remotes around. I know plenty of you guys buy them from us all the time, so um, I've never offered up programming for these before because I never had access to it. I used to back in the day when I used to sell this stuff. Uh, from this company micro or they, they were called MAS back in the day I remember micro alarm system is what that stands for they were a company in California um, pretty much the two most common ones are this one here I'll try to show that to you that was the three button this was called uh, FCC ID it was a micro dash 30 B uh, basically threes I just called it a three 30 was three and then B was for button they called it a 30 B with the red LED. I believe this is a 302 megahertz uh, frequency. And this guy, which is the most common, I see this one a lot, and I buy and sell these things like nuts. Still to this day, people buy them up. The four button model. And these have the blue, and they also have the red LEDs on them. And simply how you program these guys are, get underneath your driver's dashboard, where your valley switch is, I don't know, but you're gonna have to find out for yourself. Get underneath there. You're gonna look for something like this. Either uh, this is a directed electronic, so it probably won't look like this. It'll look probably more like this. They use these older, cheaper Chinese-looking valley switches like that. And this is a momentary. When you push it in, that that's gonna depress it and send the code that, back to the alarm brain. So what you do? Get in your car, turn your key on, push this button five times, and according to the manual, it says. The uh, siren will emit a long chirp and the LED and parking lights will light solid to confirm entry into code learning in the programming mode. So within seven seconds, and you have to do this within seven seconds or it'll time out and then just leave programming mode. So within seven seconds, get your remote and hit button one. Button one is typically going to be the lock. So you hit lock it or whatever, learn the channel. The other one, hold it down. This will learn up to four of these transmitters. Then you just simply turn the key off to exit programming, and then it should start working. That's all you gotta know about doing these micros. It's very easy. Once you know what it is, anyway. So, have fun.